Okay, all my YouTube homies, what's going on today? Well, for me, it's a rear differential. Yeah, this is Mike at Utopia Construction, working on another truck. Um, this happens to be my sister's truck. She bought it. Um, we're doing some things to fix it up and make it roadworthy. So we've already replaced the the brake lines I'll give you a little picture of that and then my mom says well there's something still leaking so you know we got up underneath the uh, thing and looked at it and that's the rear differential right there um, Truck's been sitting for a while, as you can see, all the rust everywhere. Um, rust never sleeps. Anyways, uh, so we popped the old one off, 10 bolts. Um, I use this, makes it much easier. Um, this actually didn't work. I should have made a video on how to fix this because I took it all apart and it wasn't not too hard to fix so if you ever find one somebody's giving it away because it doesn't work it's probably just because it's rusted up inside they didn't oil it when they used it and it hadn't been oiled in a long time so it seized up but they're pretty easy to take apart um, you just unscrew this bolt right here and the whole assembly pretty much comes apart after that uh, pretty easy to do there's a little o-ring right here that you got to pop out I used some needle nose pliers work fine um, but as you can see, there's the new brake line all the way across the pads and rotors. I'm surprised were okay, you know, for this truck. I'm not gonna dump another $300 into rotors and brake pads on this one. We don't really need them. Brake pads are good, but, um, I'm going to clean that off little rust spots here and down over over here clean it off a little bit so it's nice and shiny for the new parts right there gasket and differential cover so that's what they call the rear main right there all right well let me get this cover on then there's a nut on the other side on the driver's side that has a 3h drive uh, I guess hole in it and you just slip a two inch extension on your 3 8 ratchet pop it in that little bolt and unscrew it and then you fill it up with fluid it takes about three quarts so just so you know uh, we'll show you some pictures when we get the new nice shiny black cover on it all right, I hope you all are having a blessed day. This is Mike Hollywood from the D at Utopia Construction, working on cars. <laughs> See ya.